welcome to Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas. I'm Angela, and joining me today is Valerie Vanderpool, chef and owner of Zest Exciting Food Creations up on the near northeast side of Indianapolis, correct? Right. So um, tell me what we're going to make today. Today we're going to make our uh, down-home, goes uptown version of shrimp and grits. Uh, tell me a little bit about our ingredients. All right, I have chicken stock and rosemary in here, and I'm going to start the polenta. And, and polenta is something people can find at a grocery store, right? It's cornmeal, basically. All That's right. what we use. Sometimes you can use instant polenta, but I like to use the cornmeal because I just think it's better. All right, so. and so you just had this going. It's been going over our gas burner, mm -hmm. and you you uh, just dump it in there, and it cooks yeah. really quickly, right? Yeah. Is that one of the reasons you like cooking over gas? I love cooking over gas because it cooks so fast, and it just it's great to do it in the restaurant because we have to make things to order, and... People don't want to wait terribly long for their food. So <laughs> Excellent point. It's really you good. You really, really want to get it out the door. You're yeah. cooking over gas. That's right. All right, so we've let this cook for a few minutes until right. you can see it actually is mm -hmm. starting to pull away from the size of the pan. And it smells really good, too. I love that rosemary oh, in there. Oh, thank you. Now, don't forget, you can download the recipe for the zest take on shrimp and grits anytime. Just go to citizensgas.com or recroom.com. All right, so are you using your time okay. to get the little rosemary um, stems yes, out? Yes, I'm taking the stem out of the rosemary. And now I'm going to add the butter because, because, because butter makes everything better. <laughs> That's right. And the gorgonzola cheese. Because cheese also makes, makes everything, everything better. better. And we want this to be, uh, this is going to also make it nice and creamy and not, the stiffness will go out of it because the butter and the cheese are melting. And just make it nice and smooth there at and the very, end. very, very creamy, yeah. Okay. So it I'm just going to turn the heat off and let that stuff melt. Okay. And then I'm going to go check on our shrimp and veggies in the oven. All right, so we've just pulled our shrimp and vegetable kebabs out of right. the oven, and mm -hmm. they smell delicious. Tell Thank me you. what you drizzled on there before you stuck them in the oven. The vegetables just have olive oil and salt and pepper, okay. because I like Simple to enough. taste the veggies. And then the shrimp has olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little bit of chili flakes. Okay, just to because give it that you little know, kick. Shrimp and grits is supposed to be a little spicy. Okay. So first, I'm going to put the red sauce on the plate the bottom and this is just to add a little bit more flavor really to the uh, polenta. So that actually is going to go underneath our, our mm -hmm. polenta or yeah. our grits in this right. case. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Our quote unquote grits. Okay. Then. And you just spoon the polenta right yeah. on top of that. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, this is not what you would call a formal dish. <laughs> no. Because it's shrimp and grits. Right. Okay, That's then great. I'm going to put some, this is shredded Asiago some of that on top of there. And then I have some, this is uh, sun-dried tomato pesto that we make. Yummy. You're just gonna drizzle a little of that around the edges yeah. of the plate. Yeah, and then this is regular basil pesto. <gasps> That's so pretty. And then this is um, our vinaigrette that we, one of our vinaigrettes that we make. It's just a super simple classic vinaigrette with champagne vinegar and Dijon mustard and olive oil. And you just have some mixed field greens in there? Yes, these are organic spring mix. Okay. Yeah, skewers. Now the veggie kebabs, you've got what, some zucchini, zucchini pepper? Zucchini, squash, bell peppers, eggplant, red onion, and tomato. So all the summer vegetables that are coming right, into season exactly. now, but people could use kind of whatever. You know. Anything you want that's seasonal. And then we'll put there the sugar skewers like this. Gorgeous. Look at that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and dive in if you don't okay, mind. Okay, sure, please. <laughs> and while I do, um, tell us a little bit about Zest. It's a very exciting place. It is a very exciting place. We serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. On the weekends, we serve brunch. And we have a really fun, um, very down-home, goes-uptown um, dinner menu. And um, we have an outdoor uh, courtyard seating and beer and wine. We have awesome mimosas. And we you're have... just getting ready to celebrate your third anniversary. Third, third birthday next weekend. <laughs> well, Chef Valerie, thank you so much for joining us thank today you. on Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas. The shrimp is fantastic. I cannot wait Thanks. to see if I can actually do this myself at home. <laughs> That's all we have time for today on Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas. Don't forget our episodes are available anytime. Just go to citizensgas.com or recroom.com. You can also view the episodes at Comcast Video On Demand. Thank you again Thank you for very being much. here. And thanks. thanks to all of you. We'll see you next time on Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas.